It's about protecting your joy and your love and your magic and not listening to not resisting the lies that you've been told about yourself. For people who don't know you and have never met you, they don't understand how funny you are and how brilliant you are and how beautiful you are. So you have to have armor. You have to be able to pour yourself into what it means to stand for your truth, to love yourself, and to go out to the things you love, like basketball. So I felt the same way when I was brave, and sometimes I still have those bad days down. Um, and on those bad days, I call a friend. Life is long, but it's also short. And anything can happen on any given day. So my favorite friend, my favorite person, the person I would normally call to give me joy, died recently. And her name was Crystal. And she was like all of you, she was an athlete. And she was the queen of living other people's cups. She would just call you and tell you that you had a great smile, or that your outfit was good with you, or that you share a song with you. Um, and she just shined a lot like a crystal. So I want you to remember that you have to shine too. You have to love yourself too.
Good afternoon, evening. Wow, time flies. Hi, everyone. Uh, do you guys remember me from two years ago? So you guys are brand new. So my name is Jessica. Um, thank you for that introduction. That's good. Um, I am currently working at Boston Medical Center. Anyone know who that is? Yeah? Yeah? Couple? Alright. Um, I was raised in Dorchester. Anyone know who that is? Okay? Okay. Um, so I was born in Puerto Rico, but I was raised in Dorchester. Um, I wish someone would come speak to me because 
they tried to give me that speech. Believe it or not, I went into more details. They're a little older. I went into more details with these students. And I shared some personal things. And I was able to get six girls, uh, the psychiatrists at the end of that session. Because we were going through a lot. So when I was your age, I, had, I wish I had someone to talk to me. When I was getting bullied, I was putting gum on my hair, my hair was getting cut. You name it, I went through it. And I can speak about it because it doesn't feel good, right? <laughs> Have anyone got bullied in here? Someplace, somehow? <laughs> it doesn't feel good, right? It doesn't feel good? Do you, you like getting bullied? No, it doesn't feel good, right? If you see one of your friends getting bullied, what do you do? Thank you. 